I think it's kind of funny. A lot of people are probably going to cringe, but looking at my shelves, I'm like, ooh, this is sad. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a video about the popular books that I own but have not read yet. And I have quite a few. I only have 10, but keep in mind that this is only books that I own. If we were taking into consideration all the books that I don't own that are super popular, there would be like 50 million on this list. So without further ado, let us get started. The first one that I'm going to show you is probably the most cringeworthy one. I'm sure all of you are going to be freaking out. Most of you know this already. But it is. Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. I have not read any of these books. Any of them. And I know this is very shameful because like Harry Potter is everybody's childhood. But I just never did it. I only own the first one. Even if I did read the first one, wouldn't be able to go on to the second one unless I went to the library or something. But I know that a lot of people are freaking out about this right now. I'll read it one day. Just today is not that day. Maybe tomorrow. Probably not. But I'm sorry, people of the internet. Next is Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith and this is JK Rowling again so I have never read a JK Rowling book. One day I will get to it. I think it's also because it's like such a big book it's like intimidating. If you've been on my channel for a while you know Jay doesn't like to read big books. She reads the little tiny ones and pretends that she's a reader because the big ones are terrifying. Next is a series that is super popular because Six of Crows just came out and Crooked Kingdom and the that series. But I have not read the Grisha series by Lee Bardugo. Neither have I read Six of Crows or Crooked Kingdom. I only have the first book in the trilogy, so maybe if I get the second one and the third one. Is there a third one? See, I don't even know. I think there is. I think there's Siege and Storm and Ruin Rising, too. So maybe if I get those, then I'll have them all and I'll marathon it. See, I like marathoning series. I don't like having to wait. So if I get the two other books, maybe it will happen. Next is another series, and it is the Fifth Wave series by Rick Yancey. I own The Infinite Sea. I don't own the third book. Is there a third book? See, I don't even know that either. The movie came out, like, almost a year ago, and I still haven't read the book. Your girl is very behind on the trends. I've heard that it's really good, and I heard the movie wasn't as good as the book. So I kind of want to read the book before I watch the movie, but I really want to watch the movie, so it's like... <sighs> The next two books are the second and third book in a series. Which I loved the first book. They are Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of God and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. The first book, The Daughter of Smoke and Bones, I absolutely loved. So why I haven't read the two next books in the series is beyond me. Because I really want to, but probably again, they're ginormous. And your girl doesn't do well with giant books, so that's my excuse, take it or leave it. The next book that I have that is super popular and I haven't read yet. Well, it's not popular really anymore, but it was when the movie came out is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I started this book. I borrowed it from my friend a while ago. I ended up giving it back to her and this is my own copy, but I got like three chapters in and I just couldn't get into it. And ever since then, I just haven't picked it back up. I should. I liked the movie when I saw it. I don't remember much of it, but I really should read this book. I really should. One day it'll happen. Like all of these books, one day when I'm old and gray, I'll get to them. The next book that I really, really want to read because everybody says it's so amazing and I just haven't done it yet, also because it's ginormous, is The Diviners by Libba Bray. Everybody talks about how creepy this book is and how incredible it is, and I just... It's been on my shelf for over two years. Have I read it? No. Should I read it? Yes. The next book I'm kind of ashamed of because it's been on my shelf for over two years, like The Diviners. And everybody loves these books. I don't think I've heard anybody say they don't like them. And it is. The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. Why I haven't read these? I don't know. I only have the two first books in the series. And Empire of Storms came out recently. So really, I'm so far behind. It's kind of like, should I even start this? The answer is yes. And the answer is I will eventually, like every other book on this list. But just not today, apparently. And not in the past two years. Because... I don't have my priorities straight. I'm sorry. The next book is The Rosie Project, and this is by Graham Simmons. A lot of people liked it, a lot of people didn't like it, so I just haven't really had the desire to pick it up, but I've had it on my shelf for a while now, and I just, I should pick it up. I should. The next book on my list I honestly want to read so badly. It's been on my TBR for the past couple of months, and I keep showing it, saying I'm going to read it, and then I just don't read it. But everybody says that it is incredible, and my mom read it, and it's like her favorite book, and I still have not read it. And that is... The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. 
like, so many people love this book, and they tell me to read it every time I say I haven't read it, and I just keep putting it off and off and off, and I don't know why. Because I'm a terrible human being. That's why. But one day, I will get to it. Which is the theme of this video. You guys gotta keep in mind, like, it took me, like, four years to read the Luna Chronicles, guys. I finished it. I did it this year. So, pat on the back to Jan. But the point is, eventually, I will get to these books. Just, it's gonna take time. Alright, guys. So, those were ten of the popular books that I own and haven't read yet. Let me know down below if you've read any of these. Probably have, because I'm, like, the only person in the world who has not read these books. And let me know what you thought of them and which ones I should read first. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.